If you live in New South Wales and catch trains across New South Wales frequently, have you ever wondered about double or triple digit numbers divisible by five on different colour signs and what their purpose is? Well, you have come to the right video. G'day blokes and sheilas, this is Voyager the 2nd here. In today's video on a series called Railways in New South Wales, we will talk about the speed signs on new railways in New South Wales. To start off with, let's introduce each speed sign. There's the yellow speed sign, then the blue speed sign, followed by the white speed sign, and speed signs with X's designated in them. Since each speed sign is different, we are going to discuss each speed sign and their properties. The first sign we are going to look at is the yellow speed sign. The yellow speed sign is the standard speed sign on New South Wales Railways. It is the slowest speed sign and it is present in every rail line in New South Wales. All trains must abide by this speed sign unless the train is a multiple unit which may follow other coloured speed signs like the white speed sign coexisting with the yellow speed sign in figure 3. And to cap it off, the maximum speed is 115 km per hour. Now which trains must abide by the yellow speed sign? Well, I mentioned that multiple unit trains may abide by other speed signs at present. So that means any locomotive haul train must abide by the yellow speed sign at all times due to their massive weight and weak power, which makes these trains difficult to change speeds quickly, especially freight trains which are long and heavy. However, Multiple unit trains must also abide by the yellow speed sign if no other coloured speed signs are present. Our next coloured speed sign is the blue sign. The blue sign is the median speed sign on New South Wales Railways. What stands out about the blue sign is that it is only present in electrified railways across New South Wales. The sign applies to third generation or previous generation electric multiple units, aka 3G PG EMU trains. These trains include the Tangaras, V sets, C sets, and S sets, as well as K sets. However, if the blue sign is not present, then these trains must abide by the yellow sign, or they may abide by the white sign with an MU designation, which is the same as the blue speed sign. The top speed for the blue sign is 115 km per hour, since all 3G PG EMU trains are designed to only go up to that speed. To summarise which trains can abide by the blue speed sign, it is simply obeyed by the older electric multiple units, which include Tangaras, V sets and other silver sets. Finally, the blue speed sign is also the same as an MU designated white sign. Our last coloured speed sign is the white speed sign, which is obeyed by the fastest trains in New South Wales. These trains include all diesel multiple units and fourth generation electric rolling stock such as Oscars and Waratahs. Despite them being the fastest trains in New South Wales, the top speed of the white speed sign is only limited to 160 km per hour, yet most of the trains that abide by the speed sign can only go up to certain to a certain speed less than 160 km per hour. However, there are instances where the MU designation is present and so older EMUs may abide by the white speed sign if an MU designation is present. However, only newer electric rolling stock and diesel multiple units may abide by the sign if the MU is not present. It is present in every operating mainline in New South Wales, especially where New South Wales trailing services operate. However, if the white speed sign is not present, then these quote unquote fast trains must abide by the slow yellow speed signs. Now, which trains can abide by the white speed sign? Firstly, all diesel multiple units may abide by the sign if present, 
as well as fourth generation EMU rolling stock. However, if there's an MU designation present, then the older 3GPG EMU rolling stock may abide by the white speed sign, but otherwise those trains must abide by the yellow or blue speed signs if present. Lastly, locomotive haul trains are not allowed to follow the white speed signs. To summarize the speed limits one more time, we now know that the yellow speed signs are for all trains, but locomotive trains exclusively must abide by the yellow speed sign at all times. The blue speed signs are exclusively for older electric rolling stock, but the white speed signs with MU designation can include these trains to obey their signs, while the white speed signs without the MU designation are exclusive to newer EMU rolling stock and all diesel multiple units. Another thing we're going to talk about here are the turnout speed signs, which are shown with a designated X. The purpose of these signs is to indicate the speed that the train must obey when using the diverging track. The coloured signs still apply, but these turnout signs don't apply for trains continuing on straight track. Let's look at a scenario. There's a train that has been travelling at 100 km per hour for the past 2500 meters. There is a turnout speed sign indicating X40 at the junction, 300 meters before approaching the station. How fast should, should the train travel if it wants to pass, let's say, Platform 1? Well, if the train is going to pass Platform 1, then it must remain, then it can remain at 100 km per hour. But if it wants to pass Platform number 2, then it must slow down to 40 km per hour. So this is just a simple scenario for, for the uh, switch or the turnout speed. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and favorite the video. I will see you next time. Happy New Year.